Welcome to our deep dive into the age-old debate, cardio or weights, which is the best way for you to burn belly fat? A question that has puzzled fitness enthusiasts and weight watchers for decades. On one side of the ring, we have cardio exercises, celebrated for their ability to create an energy deficit, rev up the heart rate, and keep the calorie-burning furnace blazing even after the workout. They're the classic go-to for anyone looking to shed some pounds. However, on the other side, we have weight training, the unsung hero of fat loss. Weightlifting builds lean muscle mass, which in turn stokes your resting metabolic rate, burning calories throughout the day. So, you see, both contenders have their unique strengths in the fat-burning arena. But here's the deal. The choice between cardio and weights isn't a one-size-fits-all answer. It's a matter of individual preferences, goals, and body types. It's about finding a balance that suits you. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the science behind cardio and weights and their effects on fat loss. First, let's explore the science behind cardio and how it helps in burning fat. Diving straight into it, the primary benefit of cardio is its ability to create what we call an energy deficit. Picture your body as a rechargeable battery. When you eat, you're essentially charging up, storing energy. During cardio exercises like running or cycling, you use this stored energy. As you move, your body needs fuel to keep going which it gets by burning calories. When you burn more calories than you consume, you create an energy deficit. This deficit is what leads to fat loss. Now let's talk about heart rate. Ever noticed how your heart seems to be beating out of your chest after a good run? That's because cardio exercises increase your heart rate. A higher heart rate means your body needs more oxygen. To meet this demand, your body burns more calories, not just during the exercise but also for hours after you've finished. This phenomenon is known as the afterburn effect or more scientifically, excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. But that's not all. Cardio also boosts your metabolism. Metabolism is the process by which your body converts what you eat and drink into energy. Doing cardio exercises regularly can increase your metabolic rate, meaning you burn calories at a faster pace, even when you're at rest. So, let's sum it up. Cardio exercises help burn calories by creating an energy deficit. They increase your heart rate leading to an afterburn effect, and they boost your metabolism so you burn calories faster. Clearly cardio holds a promising position in the fat burning debate. But what about weight training? Let's find out. Now let's turn our attention to weightlifting and its role in fat burning. Weight training, often seen as the domain of bodybuilders and athletes, is in fact a powerful tool in the battle against fat. How does it work? Well it's all about building lean muscle mass. When you lift weights, you're essentially breaking down your muscles. But don't worry, this is a good thing. Your body then uses energy to repair and rebuild those muscles, making them stronger and denser than before. Here's where it gets interesting. Muscle is metabolically active, meaning it burns calories even when you're not working out. This is known as your resting metabolic rate, or RMR. The more muscle you have, the higher your RMR, and the more calories you burn throughout the day, even when you're sitting on the couch or sleeping. But this isn't the only way weight training helps with fat loss. You see, Lifting weights also triggers a phenomenon known as excess post-exercise oxygen consumption or EPOC. This is basically your body's way of recovering from the stress of a high-intensity workout and it involves burning more calories and therefore fat for up to 48 hours after your session. So, while cardio might burn more calories during the workout, weight training continues to burn calories long after you've left the gym. It's the gift that keeps on giving. But don't think you need to be lifting colossal amounts of weight to see benefits. Even moderate weight training can increase your RMR and stimulate fat loss. And the best part? You'll also be building strength and improving your overall health at the same time. As we can see, weight training also presents a compelling case in the fat-burning debate. But is there a way to combine the benefits of both? Let's explore. What if we told you the best approach to burn belly fat might be a combination of cardio and weights? Let's explore why. The debate between cardio and weight training has been a long-standing one, with each having its multitude of supporters. But what if we could harness the power of both these approaches to maximize our fat loss and muscle gain? Yes, you heard it right. The magic lies in the blend. Research findings have shown that the best results in terms of fat loss and muscle gain are achieved when cardio and weight training are combined. This is because while cardio exercises create an energy deficit leading to fat loss and increase your heart rate and metabolism for continued calorie burn, 
Weight training builds lean muscle mass that boosts your resting metabolic rate, allowing you to burn calories throughout the day. It's like getting the best of both worlds. But here's the thing. No matter how much you train, sustainable weight loss is not just about the hours you put in at the gym. It's about making healthy lifestyle changes. It's about how you fuel your body with nutritious food, how you manage stress, how much sleep you get, and so much more. It's a holistic approach where every element works in tandem to support your weight loss journey. So if you've been stuck in the cardio versus weights debate, it's time to break free. Incorporate both these elements in your fitness routine, but don't forget to look at the bigger picture. Remember, it's not about quick fixes. It's about a sustainable, healthy lifestyle. And while you're at it, don't forget to enjoy the journey. Find exercises you love, eat foods that nourish you, and take care of your mental health. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about looking good, it's about feeling good. It seems combining cardio and weights might be the winning strategy in the battle against belly fat. So there you have it, the science behind cardio and weights in the quest to burn belly fat. We've journeyed through the energy-burning world of cardio and discovered how it can keep your metabolism running even after you've finished your workout. Then we ventured into the realm of weight training, understanding how it builds lean muscle mass, which in turn helps burn calories throughout the day. In the end, it's not about choosing one over the other. It's about finding the perfect blend of both that suits your lifestyle and your fitness goals. Combining cardio and weight training can yield the best results for sustainable fat loss and muscle gain. Remember, it's not just about losing weight, but about making healthy lifestyle changes. Did you find this video helpful? Leave a comment below and don't forget to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description to kickstart your fitness journey. Until next time, keep burning that fat.